Today we are going on a mission together. I really want to pare down my closet. Today I have so many things in my closet that I have collected, mostly thrifted, that I genuinely have never worn. There are some things I think that are like new with tags that I still haven't worn and I am just feeling like now that the seasons are starting to change and I'm getting ready to kind of like put away my winter sweaters until hopefully the end of the year, I think I need to just do a bit of a purge. So that is what we are gonna do today. We're gonna go through my closet rack here and just kind of really be ruthless, really go through everything and assess whether or not I wear it. It always just feels so good after doing this. I try to do this like quarterly or so, maybe like three, four times a year and really go through my closet and assess what I'm wearing, get rid of what I'm not, and of course make room for new pieces. Most of my closet, I would say like 70% is secondhand and I'm always thrifting and on the lookout for new pieces to add to my closet, which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is ThreadUp. You guys know I love and have been using ThreadUp and working with them for years, they're my favorite. If you aren't familiar, ThreadUp is an online thrift and consignment store that has amazing pieces from so many of my favorite brands for up to 90% off estimated retail price. I'm on there all the time. I love being able to filter by size, by color, by pattern, by condition, by brand, whatever it is you may want. And they're one of my favorite ways to shop secondhand. I absolutely love it. I did pick out a few new pieces to add to my closet. The first one being this amazing 90 these midi maxi dress. It is so cute. I love the print. I got it in a US size 16. The estimated retail price for this was $51. I got it on ThreadUp for $24.99. And I also kind of styled it in like a fun Miss Honey-esque way where I threw like a little vest over it. The sweater vest is also from ThreadUp. Threw on like a little belt, some boots. I think this is gonna be so, so fun for spring and summer. And honestly, that'll carry me into fall as well. I also picked up this amazing baby blue butterfly dress that is very much giving me Taylor Swift debut era vibes. It's got a cute little flower in the front. I love the cut of it. It kind of almost is like a slip dress, but with stretch and it's so comfortable. The estimated retail price for this was $27. I got it on ThreadUp for $20.99. I'm so excited to wear that with cowboy boots. That's gonna be so cute. Another thing that I have been obsessed with, especially for spring and summer, is like prairie dresses, picnic-y kind of dresses. Like I am obsessed with it. And I feel like this may be my favorite one yet. This is by the brand Universal Thread. The estimated retail price is $25. I got it on ThreadUp for $14.99. I love the mix and match of different patterns. This just feels very cottagecore and it's just like a good go-to classic throw and go dress for the summer, which is what I live for. I'm obsessed with it. And then for kind of a funkier fun outfit, I have actually been on the hunt for something like this for so long and I found this amazing black crochet sort of lace style maxi skirt. I love it so much. This is by the brand Chico's design. I am obsessed with this. I think this is gonna be so fun to play around with. I love the sort of idea of doing like a more western-y kind of look or like 70s. I love the idea of just wearing this with like a big t-shirt and some Doc Martens. I think this is gonna be really versatile and just fun and different. So ThreadUp has this amazing feature where you can shop my picks. So if you click the link in the description box below, you can see items similar to the ones that I ordered and shop them for yourself. We can twin. You can also use my coupon code CARRY at checkout to get an extra 35% off your first order at ThreadUp. It's amazing. I could not recommend it enough. Everything will be linked for you in the description box below. And I am just truly in the mood to get going, get my hands in my closet, see what I'm using, see what I'm not using. These are always really satisfying for me to watch. So hopefully this one will do that for you as well. Maybe it'll inspire you to go through your own closet, get rid of some stuff that maybe doesn't fit anymore and make room for stuff that does fit and does make you feel good. I think it's just important for me, especially when a lot of my job is clothing <laughs> to make sure that it's manageable and and right now it doesn't feel very manageable. I'm running out of hangers. We have a lot to cover. So let's go ahead and jump in and hopefully have an extremely satisfying closet declutter. Let's do it. All right, I've seen a couple closet cleanouts with this mic situation and I'm testing it out. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, but I'm gonna wheel the old closet rack over here. I'm kind of intimidated, but let's do it. Oh God, it's heavy. I am very scared. This is gonna tip over. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, it's fine. Fine. Okay, have we done it? Yes, we have. Wow, that was um, almost tragic and I have bruises on my legs now, but that's okay. 
we're good. So we're gonna start with the sweaters. Um, I really feel like all of my sweaters are taking up the most space. And right now in LA, I mean, kind of, it's a bad example because today it's a little bit cloudy and rainy. But for the most part, our like extended four months of rain is pretty much over and it's definitely warming up. So I really want to start putting some of these sweaters away for like fall and winter, like I mentioned. So we'll start there because that's where it feels less scary to me. Starting off here, we have this really cute sweater vest that I thrifted at the Goodwill bins. And I feel like I still haven't figured out a way to style this yet. So that will definitely be something to figure out. Um, but in the meantime, I think I can like get away with wearing it for a little bit longer because I can wear it without anything underneath. So we'll hang on to that. But this one next to it, actually all these other sweater vests, they can go. All right, I need to move this around a little bit. But my goal here as always is just to have like a lot of hangers by the end of this because this is like the only free hanger I have right now. So I have a little chair over here that I will add some hangers to, but yeah, first one done, okay. Next, we're gonna go through what I like to call the beige sweater section, which I have discussed before and it is a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I have a lot of like beige, cream, white, ivory, <laughs> different sweaters and I did pare it down a lot in my last closet declutter, but I haven't worn like a single one of them. So this I actually thrifted in England. It's by the brand. And F and F. I don't know what it is and I have really honestly tried to style this and I just I can't so it's gonna go in like the either donate or resale pile I'm gonna go through all of that at a later date and figure out what I want to do with it like if I want to donate it resale it maybe I'll do some sort of closet sale I'm thinking about doing like closet swaps with friends so we'll see where that ends up going but yeah okay let's really get down to business here cream colored sweater this one can stay but it can be put away for fall and winter. Another cream sweater. This is more of like a tunic. And to be honest, I got this on thread up. I wore the absolute crap out of it for like two, three years, but I'm just not wearing it that much anymore. So that's gonna go in the donate pile. I got this sort of like quarter zip sweater that's really, really, really soft and cozy, but I never wore it. Maybe I'll hang on to it for one more season so that can go in there, but I'm cut off after that sweater, like I'm done. There's no more cream sweaters. I do not need that many. This one I got on my birthday when I was with my mom back in Arizona. It doesn't even have a tag anymore. I'm pretty sure in an ADHD fit, I ripped it off. It's cute, but it's not necessary to have in my closet. I do not need that many white and cream things. This sweater is cute. I got it secondhand. I believe I got it to take with me to England and then I didn't end up taking it and I've only worn it like one time. So someone else should have it. I told you I'm being ruthless. Okay, next we're gonna go for Oh yeah, I love this. I love this cropped lilac sweater, but the only thing I will say is I have tried so hard to salvage how low cut this is. And like these buttons are just really, really low cut. And then when I wear something underneath it, I don't really love it, but I love the color. So maybe I'll just layer it with other things for next year. Cause I still want like a couple little colorful things. And then we have another, oh, wouldn't you know, a little cream cardigan. This one was secondhand. I can find a better one that fits me a little bit better. These sleeves are a little bit short, so that one's gonna go. Oh, not me just putting this down here and then completely forgetting about it. I thrifted this really cool men's maroon sweater vest um, and I haven't gotten to wear it yet, but I'll save it for next year. Maybe I can wear it like during the holidays or something. Okay, it's feeling a little bit better. So I'm happy about that. We have this Tommy Hilfiger sweater that I thrifted. This one's a great one. It's so cozy, so casual. Definitely gonna wear that again next year. Although the person who I bought it from secondhand said that it was navy blue and it's gray and I'm a little bit bitter about that, but that's okay. Next up, we have this little cherry sweater that I wore when I was in Japan. I wore this on our day in Osaka and I loved it. I had a harder time styling this than I would have thought. Um, it was just, I don't know. I didn't want to just wear it with jeans and I'm still not like obsessed with how I style it. So maybe I'll figure that out. I'm going to hold on to it for the time being. We have another big chunky sweater that I wore to Japan. This is actually from the brand Ascot and Heart that I definitely will save for next year. It's just way too thick to wear right now. This I got from the Rose Bowl flea market. It's like a handmade in Korea vintage cardigan. It doesn't fit me perfectly. The sleeves are a little bit short on me, but I honestly can't let go. Like this is just one of my favorite thrift finds ever. So that will stick around until next year for sure. Got a couple of cardigans, a black one and a brown one. This black one, this like kind of big thicker one, I didn't really wear that much. And to be honest, someone else should have it because I have this same brown cardigan in black. So I'll hold on to these two like thinner ones. That's what I prefer. So that one, and then where's the black one? Um, right here. So these two 
will live together in the sweater pile for next year. Then we have this colorful one. This is a recent find and I've just really been loving like big bright colors lately. So this one is really cute. I'll hang on to that for next year or will I? Uh, you know what, maybe I will actually give that on to someone else cause it's bright and fun, but I don't see myself repeatedly wearing it. Next we have this thrifted red cardigan, which I was really hoping was gonna be chunkier and like a little bit longer sleeved, but the sleeves are a little too short on me. And I feel like no matter how I style this, I look like I work in Target. Does that make sense? Like I just can't seem to get that out of my head. So that's gonna go. We have this sweater, which is really cute. I got it on thread up. I've worn it a couple times, but the skirt that I kind of like set out to wear this with doesn't fit anymore after I washed it. And it's just a teensy tiny bit too cleavagey for me. So I'm just trying to, instead of like have things in my closet that I'm like, um, I don't love the way that fits, but like maybe I'll find a way to wear it. Instead of doing that, I'm just gonna find other things that I like the way they look. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Then we have this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is a Unif sweater that I also got secondhand and it's so chunky and big, but it's so cute. And it reminds me of Ernie. I was an Ernie girly growing up. My very first like toy or doll that I ever had was an Ernie doll. And I'm pretty sure like I had it when I came home from the hospital. So kind of like cosplaying as Ernie in that one. We already need a water break cause we have our work cut out for us. This is a lot. I'm already feeling overwhelmed. All right, we've got this sweater, which is like a basic edition sweater. I'll save this for next year. This is just like a nice thrifted men's sweater, little quarter zip moment, just like nice to throw and go when you like have an appointment to go to, you're like walking the dog, whatever. We have this green daisy sweater. That's one of my favorites. I've had it for a few years now and I love it. I think it's so cute. We have this split 50-50 pink and blue sweater. I love this. This is like one of my favorite sweaters and it's really, really thin so I can wear it more out of the year here in California. Even when I lived in Arizona as well, that was nice. We have a little zip up olive green Abercrombie sweater. I have worn this a few times. I like that it is a double zip. I don't know how much wear I got out of this though and how much I will in the future, but I will hang on to it for one more season and see how I fare next year. Cause I don't know, I think I'm like out of my olive green phase as I'm wearing olive green pants. I mean for tops. It's a whole thing, Never mind. Next we have this like kind of chunky, waffly, oversized jacket, I guess you could call it, or like thick flannel, I don't know, but it's really nice. It's like thick long john material, but I only wore this like two times this entire season. So I think I'm just gonna resell it so someone else can hang on to it and maybe just get more wear out of it. We have this vintage kind of reworked sweater that I love. I just wish that it was either long sleeve or like a sweater vest. Cause sometimes I do have a hard time styling this, but I love this. I'm thinking I might actually even hang on to this for spring because it's like long sleeves. So maybe I can find like a cute pair of pants or something to wear it with and style it. Cause it's adorable. It's a style challenge for me. Next I got this teddy bear sweater for our trip to Japan, but I actually ended up running out of room in my luggage and I meant to film an entire, there's so much dust. Sorry if you see me rubbing my nose. I meant to film an entire like pack with me video, like planning my outfits for a 10 day trip and like packing a carry on when flying to Japan, etc. cetera. Um, but then I had an ADHD meltdown right before I left and I was just very, very overwhelmed. <laughs> so that didn't happen. And anyways, I didn't even get to bring this sweater and I just don't see myself wearing it in my everyday life. It's really cute, but it just doesn't even fit right. It's gotta go. White button up can stay for the summertime because it's like really versatile. You can wear it with a little jumpsuit, bodysuit, bike short set, whatever. We have this big old express sort of tunic sweater. I'm pretty sure I was actually wearing this in the last closet clean out video when I still had brown hair. That's funny. And it's cozy to have for those days that you just wanna wear like leggings and a sweater. So I might hold on to that. Although it's very heavy, but we'll see, we'll get there. This, I think I got at the Goodwill bins. It's my Johnny button up shirt. I haven't figured out a way to style this yet, but I haven't given up either. So now I think we are pretty much done and we're just into like button ups and long sleeves. Oh, I do see a couple little cardigans. I have this one that has stars on it, very midnight's themed. I had like a whole outfit planned for this. And then for some reason, I just like never wore it. I don't know why. So it's been sitting in my closet since, I don't know, last October or something like that. And I'm probably not gonna wear it, let's be honest. So let's give it to someone who will. I have 
this kind of sheer button up top that I only wore one time and I keep it just in case I need to like throw something on. But to be honest, I don't know if I will. I don't know if I will just like throw something. I'm not like a really a button up girly. So I think that's gonna go cause I'm not even gonna notice that it's gone from my closet. I got this for Valentine's day and it didn't come in time. So I'm gonna save it for next Valentine's day or somewhere where I just wanna wear pink cause that's really cute. We have a button up sort of like silky satiny type of shirt. And I don't know if I'm being honest, how much I love this color anymore, which is funny cause this color used to be like my entire personality. If you remember for like a couple years, these like burnt orange warm browns were definitely like I was wearing this color in every outfit I could possibly imagine. I had shoes this color. My whole entire home was decorated in this color, but I don't know how much I'm like really vibing with this anymore. And I don't really have any pants that I would wear with it. Although it is like a cute going out top. I wish that it was a different color or maybe like black. So I think, uh, I think I'm gonna lean towards donate, you know? I think it's gotta go. It's been sitting there for years. Oh, this one I'm so sad about. I really, really love this one. I thrifted this when I was in England and it's such a cute sweater, but it's just too small for my bust. I just have a wide bust. These buttons, like when I wear it, they just kind of buckle like that. And it's just not my correct size. <laughs> I love that sweater so much. I'm genuinely devastated about that, but it just doesn't fit, you know? And that's what you gotta do. You just gotta be like, it doesn't fit. Oh, well, it's gonna fit someone else. I have this cute little kind of double zip sweater situation that I will hang on to. Same with this one. I got this one at Primark when I was in the UK. We have a couple long sleeve shirts that like I, don't know if I should hang on to in the meantime, just in case for this like sort of transitional season. We have like a little gray crop. We have this kind of like light sagey green crop. This one I know for sure I'm not gonna wear again. It's just not like the cut that I really enjoy and I sweat through it. So this one's gonna go. It still has a tag on it, so that's great. <laughs> this was another sort of like cute milkmaid long sleevey type of top that I really do love, but I never wear. So again, goodbye. This thrifted top I bought for a specific sort of 90s inspired outfit. I've only worn it once, but I do like it. And I think I probably could wear it again. So we'll try to throw that back in the rotation and see how that goes. If you could actually, here, I'll show you. This is what we're working with so far. I'm so pleased. I mean, keep in mind, I have all of my summer stuff that's been under my bed <laughs> in storage in like the little storage cubes that needs to go back on here, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I have this top that Alexa thrifted me. That's honestly really, really cute, but it doesn't super fit me anymore. It's a little bit small, so that's gonna go, sorry. We have my Taylor Swift sweater, which was kind of a beast to try and style, I will be honest, but it's an iconic sweater. It's during the red era and I love it. So we're gonna hang on to it. We have this sweater bodysuit, which to be honest is just too big for me in the boobs. I just don't have enough boobs to fill this thing out. So that one's gonna go easy. See, this is easy, breezy. We have a little long sleeve kind of just almost tunic-y type of top. I think this is from Madewell. Sort of got like a mini mock neck. It's just a nice casual top to wear around the house and whatnot. We've got some turtlenecks, which we'll definitely put away until next season. Although I have these turtlenecks in my closet like every single season and I don't really wear them because I don't really like them. But sometimes I'm like, oh, I need a turtleneck for something. So that's just sort of why I keep them around. Again, another mock neck. We'll live to see another season. We have a couple random long sleeves that are gonna go back in storage. This one that I've worn forever. We have this sort of like black long sleeve kind of bunches in the front. That one's cute. That can stay until next year. Or should I keep it hanging for now? Since it's pretty thin, we'll keep it hanging for the next couple of weeks. This little sort of midsection here of like these tops will probably end up going next. We still got a little bit of time left. We have this brown top from Primark in the UK. We have this thrifted top that I absolutely love. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with that one. Oh, things are falling. This one, I'm not gonna wear. Where's this from? Anthropology. It's cute. I've worn it a couple times. It just doesn't fit me right. So that one's gonna go. This pile is very satisfying to me right now. It feels very, very good. I got this top on thread up, like literally 75% of my closet at this point is thread up and I am not sorry. That part is unsponsored. I just genuinely love them. I got this for sort of like a fall vibe with like a black maxi skirt moment. And I wore this to a pumpkin patch this year and it was really fun. So I'm gonna hang on to that for next fall. Probably won't wear it in the spring and summer though. So should I like put it with the other stuff? Yeah, 
probably. We have this pink top, which will stay. We have this like Bulldogs basketball. I think I got this on ThreadUp as well. It's cute, but I just don't ever wear it. It's like a short sleeve sweatshirt. We have my Backstreet Boys shirt, which will stay. I am obsessed with this shirt, but it's so stupid. Like, why did I buy this? It literally says, be gentle, I have a sensitive tummy. And I cropped it and I cropped it very crooked. And it's like, what, what was I doing here? What, what was going on? So that's gonna go. Somebody who has like a shorter torso than me and you can like crop it a little bit more, that'll be perfect for you. We have this top from Oddly. It says my body, my choice, as we all know. That can stick around. We have my friend's shirt. I love it. I'm sorry, I don't care if you think it's chuggy. I don't mind. We've got a bunch of different white tees. We have this one from Everlane, this one from Abercrombie, this one from Uniqlo is stained. So that's actually gonna like, I don't know, we'll figure out what to do with that one. We just have too many white shirts. We don't need that many. This scoop neck one was great in theory, but I never wore it. So we have two good kind of classic go-to cropped white tees. I'm happy with that. We have my Brave New World shirt, which is one of my kind of like tried and true stays in my closet for years. I think I got this in like 2017 or 2018 and I'm just gonna continue to hang on to it. This, oh my God, I love this That's So Raven shirt, but I never wear it. And it's such an iconic thrift store find. Like I think I found it for $5 at the thrift and like, I don't know, maybe I'll try to find a way to wear it this summer. Cause it is iconic as well as this shirt too. Still haven't gotten a chance to wear it, but I mean, come on, if you know, you know. Okay, things are getting a little mumbo jumbo here. So we'll do our best. But now I think we're sort of getting into like the Disney tees section as well as like tank tops. So I'm gonna go through this really quickly because I'm mostly gonna keep all of this stuff. And it's really boring. It's like plain black tank tops and things like that. So let's organize this and reconvene. Okay, I am very happy with that. Um, I have just gathered so many tops in my closet that I never wear and I'm never going to. So it feels really good to get rid of some of that. So now I have all this space for more stuff. And what I think I'm gonna do next is move on to the dresses. Starting here, I have my clear bag that I used for a Taylor Swift concert that has a random belt in it. So I will actually hang this belt with my other belts where it belongs and not be a slob about it. There we go, beautiful. Underneath it, I do have this fuzzy white sweater that I got at the Goodwill bins with Alexa and Karina. We got matching ones, but this thing is just never gonna get worn by me. It's really cute, but it's just not long enough. And I wanted it to be like skinnier and it's not. So that's gonna go. See, I always forget about my dresses and then I'm like, oh yeah, I love this. But there are a couple of these that I know for a fact I probably have just outgrown style-wise. This one's really cute. I got it on thread up. It's nice and like Julia Gulia 1990s. We love that, that's gonna stay. This sort of like puff sleeve kind of style dress, I'm just really not into that much anymore. It's easy to like throw on and go and stuff, but I'm probably not gonna wear it. We'll get rid of that one. This t-shirt dress is great, love that. That. This I also got on thread up. It's so cute. I wore this for a couple years during the fall time. I wore this when I was in England last fall, I guess. Um, but it's just, I'm, I've outgrown it, I think. I'm not as into it anymore. So that's gonna go. We've got a couple slip dresses here. This slip dress is too big, but with like layered with the right jacket, we can make it work. We've got this amazing brown bodycon dress that is so, so cute. It's long sleeve, but like I can get away with wearing this on a summer night with some cute boots. Love that. I'm gonna put that back here actually actually though, cause it's more long sleeve. Then we have this maroon one that I got recently and then this black one that I got recently. So we're good there. Let's move on to this side. I'm gonna move this a little bit. We have some overalls down here at the beginning, um, which I just simply cannot part with any of them. So I have my like vintage, just long overalls. We have a couple vintage Disney pairs of overalls. We have mini, we have poo. This black pair of overalls, I'm like, do I need these? Oh, there's dust in my eye now. These don't get worn a whole lot by me anymore because they are a little bit tighter, but they are like a good, nice sort of long, well, not super long actually. And I did get them at a vintage store here in LA and like, I'm gonna hang on to them for a little bit longer. They're cute. Then we have just my classic 
you know, vintage shorts overall. So we will hang on to all of those for the summer season. Then we have, oh my God, I love this dress. I thrifted it when I was in the UK. It's originally by ASOS. I do have to use boob tape to stick it to my skin when I wear it, but it's worth it. It is so freaking cute. So we're gonna hang on to that. I have a couple random things that I just had saved for special occasions that I never wear. So for example, this is from Anthropology. It's like a suit set and I love it. I wore it at a photo shoot that I did semi recently, but I'm just never gonna get regular wear out of it. So it's gotta go. Same with this um, kind of fairy-ish dress. It literally still has the tags on it because I've only worn it one time for photos and never again. And like, when am I gonna wear this? You know what I mean? Let's be realistic here. I think we're gonna get rid of both of these or should I hang on to this? just in case, but like the shorts are too short. They'll chafe. No, we're gonna say no to that. It's going, goodbye. Oh yeah, we've reached that point. The hangers are falling. I have this really cute <laughs> Target dress. Again, still has the tags on it. Never worn it, probably never will. It was an impulse buy, I regret it. So I'm gonna give it to someone else who will actually get wear out of it. I thought I would wear it for like the holidays or my birthday or something, and I didn't. I didn't, I was at home in my pajamas. Like that's my truth. Okay, then we have this really gorgeous vintage slip dress that I got at the Rose Bowl. I either need to dye this or figure out a better slip situation under it. Cause it is very, very thin and see-through, but we'll figure it out. Then we have these two prairie dresses that I thrifted recently. Um, They're really good. I did a like thrifting video for spring, I think. And both of these are really good and classic and I've worn them both a ton already. So, okay. I don't know how I missed this dress, but this one's gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna do a super quick run through of the bottoms. Honestly, I'm not gonna explain every little thing. There is a clump of dog hair on this though. So that's great, love my life. I feel like I don't want this video to be 28 bajillion years long. So I'm just gonna go through this and try to pare it down as best as possible. See what doesn't fit anymore, what I don't really wear, what I maybe have like duplicates of and try to make some more room for fun little bottoms for the summer. I'm definitely in my maxi skirt era. So that is what I'm hoping for. Wish me luck. All right, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go into my room, pull out all of the storage bins out from under my bed, go through all the summer stuff that I had put away from last year, and then hang the rest of it up in these gaps. And that's pretty much it. I feel so much better. Like I wish, here. This is very dangerous to do, but yes, here are all of the new hangers that I have. Oh God, okay, yep, no, I regret that. So I am very happy with that. Honestly, the neighbors are starting to landscape, so that's my cue to go. I feel so satisfied and so much better. Like, I just hold on to stuff for no reason. I am very excited to have some more room for some cool, awesome thrifted things that are gonna come into my life. Things that bring me joy, that fit me properly, that don't, you know, make me feel too concerned restricted or uncomfortable or whatever it is. So I'm excited about that. I have another closet um, and like shoes and everything that I could go through, but honestly, this is enough. This is enough for me. I'm feeling so much better. I literally feel all of the weight off of my shoulders. I literally got rid of like half of my wardrobe. I'm very proud of myself. Love that for me. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. A big thanks again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Make sure you click my link in the description box below to shop my picks and also use my coupon code CARRY at checkout to get an extra 35% off your first ThreadUp order. If you wanna see more closet declutter videos, I would love to do one with Drew. I was really inspired by Arden Rose's closet declutters with her fiance Will. So if you want to see one with Drew in the future, let me know what your thoughts are. I also have a closet declutter playlist, which I will link down below. I've been doing this for years now. So if you want to see more satisfying stuff, it's all down there in the description box below for you. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm sending you all of my love and I will see you very soon in my next video.